Welcome back everyone, my name is Nicholas, and this is Major Crit. We've arrived at the house of the invincible Tubba Blubba. Let's see what's going on inside. What a huge hall. Looks like it's crumbling though. Boy, if this main hall collapses, the entire castle will follow. This whole place looks like it's falling apart. Why do I feel like that's... Hello? Alright. You're not a fight. You're a security measure. Apparently stealth is going to be a thing here. Mario, if they catch you, they'll carry you out of the castle. Don't you think you can hide from them by using one of your party members' abilities? Nudge, nudge, hint, hint. Alright. So there's a thing with a key over there. Guys, yeah, we're gonna see if I can outrun them. Apparently not. Alright. Man, I'm hoping we can upgrade uh, bows soon. Because I don't like having an unupgraded party member around. Oh, also. Oh, huh. Apparently that button also makes him talk. Um, I wanted to swap out something, actually. D down pound. I think now with the power up, a power smash will do the same amount of work on a single target as a D down pound does. I think. And that'll allow us to equip... What was I thinking of wanting to equip as well? Close call or deep focus could be useful. Smash charge. Let's go ahead and get a power jump. Just in case. We need to, uh... Oh, here. Let me go ahead and get her out. Okay, so the door to the right is locked. Yeah, and they just completely give up as soon as I stop being visible. Alright, Goombario. It's a corridor. Sweet. I'm sure it was really magnificent before Tubba Blubba let it get filthy. You can barely see the beauty beneath the dirt. Man, he's got a real love of, uh, you know, nice, nice architecture. Old buildings. Okay. This guy's sleeping. We can probably sneak past him, or we can attack him. Alright, what are we dealing with here? This is a clubba. Clubbas are the main guards of Tubba Blubba's castle. Max points 8, attack power 3, defense power 0. We often sleep on the job. If you walk very slowly, they won't wake up. They may look big, but if you use the action plan perfectly, they're not so tough. Yep. Alright, uh, we can't... Er... Do we do five damage with the hammer now? Still getting used to having the upgrade, yeah. Alright, yep. Of course, Goombario is not going to do much to help us out, unfortunately. Uh, let's go ahead and have Bow out. Or Bow out. She's going to be the most useful around here anyway. Uh, and refresh, just because we've got a spare turn and our star power is filled up. Yeah, the fact that there's star power and star points gets me a bit confused with the nomenclature. Like when I'm charging up my star meter or whatever, you know, that's not star points that's going to that. Because the star points are the experience points. Oh, whatever. And these guys are giving me two experience points, so that's worth it. I don't even heal me up. Filthy as it is, this castle has surprisingly little dust. Lots of cobwebs, though. Alright, can't do that then. Yeah, no way to change my trajectory once I'm on the spring. Let's switch up the bow. Let's switch back to bow. Just because uh, I'm assuming that those spikes that they're holding up are dangerous to jump on. Them. 
Yeah, so she can defeat one of those in two hits. I think with a power smash, Mario might be able to take one out in one hit. Uh, let's see how that goes. So, Bo, you finish that guy off. And then let's see what Mario can do with this one. Power smash. Ah, one short. But I think... Oh, ouch. But I think that is enough to... Um, take out the hyper clefts in one go, because I believe they have three defense, if I'm remembering correctly. And four hit points, so seven is going to be enough to take them out. All right. Not too bad, not too bad. I'm trying to think if there's any more efficient way I can take them out, but I think it's just kind of two attacks from any party member at this point. We'll, we'll do the job. A star piece? And Goombario, what do you have to say? Ooh, the dining room set here is fantastic. If they got curtains that weren't so old, they could really bring the room together. Yeah. Man, I'm learning so much about Goombario's interests and area of knowledge here. Nothing in those. Yeah, but I think... Yeah, just a standard hammer attack. Yeah, so they're kind of big and scary. You know, they've got relatively high stats, but... They're not actually that, uh, a very complicated fight. Like, they don't have any interesting mechanics going on, really. They're just very straightforward, you know, beaters. Oops, I meant to refresh. Oh well, whatever. Not a big deal. Yeah, now I'm assuming from what we saw that Tubba Blubba is essentially the giant boss version of a Clubba, which also, you know, makes sense from the name. Ooh, another big door. Yeah, everything's definitely giant-sized around here. Wow, this room is huge. I guess Tubba Blubba is pretty big, though, so it's probably just the right size. High ceilings really make a room feel luxurious. I'm almost tempted to start skipping some of these fights, but we'll see. Who's sleeping? Someone on the other side of that door, I guess? I'm trying to remember if I've seen guys like Clubbas in any of the other, like, you know, 2D platformer Mario games. There are those, uh, ouch. Those guys who roll the big, um, like, spike logs, metal spike logs, if you know those guys. I can't remember their name right now. Um, they look a bit like, like these guys. Different eyes, though. I think that's part of what's throwing me off. Yeah. Kind of weird how there's, like, so many, like, kind of turtle enemies in the game. But... Some of them are, like, you know, very barely turtle. Like, they've got, like, those little shells in their back. But they're... You know. Other than that, there's no real turtle thing to them. So I guess the buzzies are buzzy beetles. That's downstairs. And that is... Downstairs as well. Uh, let's go through the small door first. Goombario, what do you have to say? There's the stairs. Ugh, a cobweb. I just can't stand creatures that don't tidy up. What, are you saying spiders are creatures that don't tidy up? Kind of a weird way to say it, but, you know. Alright. Yeah, they always seem to come in pairs. I kind of wish there was, you know, more different sorts of enemies in here, just to mix things up a bit. Yeah, 
Like, I get the feeling that they want you to do a stealth mission here with the sleeping guards and everything, but there's really not a big reason to. Like, these guys aren't that dangerous. Um... Like, I can sneak around them. But then I just miss out on, you know, another four experience points, probably. This is a basement, isn't it? Yep. And a big one, too. This makes a great hiding place. I don't think Club is patrolled down here, so it's probably safe to rest for a while. And we got a castle key. Opens a locked door on Topo Boba's castle. I think there was a key back in that main entry room. Right. And by rest here, they mean do that. Right, hey, let's bring out Bo. Just because we've got a ghost to talk to. Oh, you're Mario. Nice place, huh? As a matter of fact, I came with this ca to this castle with my friends to try to find Tubba Blubba's weak point. We managed to find out that there's something important hidden in Tubba's Blubba's in Tubba Blubba's room on the highest floor. But once I got separated from my friends, I just had to hide. But you could go. First, you need to get to the uppermost floor, then keep going until you find his room. If you happen to run into Tubba Blubba, don't, I repeat, don't fight with him. He's invincible, really. Until you find out his secret weakness, you better just run away. You got that? All right, they're nailing that one home pretty hard. So is this leading back to that other staircase we just saw? Nice. Get in there, Bo. Yes, I do. Bo is upgraded to super rank. Oh, what did she get? I didn't actually think to check. What's her new ability? Uh, party. Uh, okay, that's nothing new. So she's got spook. Startle enemies and scare them away from battle. Eh, not big into those abilities. If I'm fighting someone, I generally want to fight them. Get the rewards. There's the stairs. Even the stairs cases are big. This place is monstrous. No. Oh. Nope. I like how he stopped before I even turn invisible, just when Bo's running over to me. He's like, oh, wait, no, he's about to turn invisible. Time to, time to back off. All right. I think we left a guy back in this room. Let's go ahead and fight him. I need to figure out how to get up onto that table. Uh, now I have a suspicion she's just gonna go up to five damage now. Which is still a pretty good amount. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Oh, was that six? No, I think that was five. as well focus. Now one thing about, you know, fighting the guards rather than hiding from them is that since they don't respawn as long as you stay in the dungeon, you know, it actually makes the whole place a lot safer once you take care, care of the guys. Alright, so that's the west wing and basement. Possibly western basement. We'll see if there's another basement area. Covered. I don't think there was any doors we didn't go through. So there was a couple things we could like drop down onto. Um, so there might be a way for us to get up up above the western western wing, and now we can get into the eastern wing. You know, with my assumptions about what west and east is here, I guess. This castle's too big. I'm so tired. All we ever do is walk. All right, starting to get tired of it. You were all excited for the first part of this dungeon. Now you're uh, getting all pouty about it. Ooh, multi, multi guys. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. See what happens. Because if this saves us getting a couple hits, it might be worth it. Oh, yeah, they go to sleep easy. I wonder if they're specifically weak against that. Because I think four rounds is more rounds than the last guy we put it to sleep. They do, you know, sleep on the job, so maybe they're, they are literally, because of that, weak to sleep effects. Yeah. 
fact, I can go ahead and just have her do that. And yeah, she's doing five. Um, and I can get another focus in. Maybe another uh, refresh if I really wanted to. Yeah, I mean, why not, right? Just, just top off. Okay, turns out putting those guys to sleep is very effective. I wonder what the chances. So we managed to put all three to sleep this time. But like, is that always gonna happen? Or like, I know there's like a percent chance that sleep works, but I think it's based on the creature. Like, I think like bosses and stuff, for instance, tend to be either immune or heavily resistant to sleep type effects and stuff like that. Oh, man. I was doing so well on the last one. Yeah, now we can take him out in two turns rather than three. Efficiency. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I think it's just during the ambush caught me off guard a bit. The time was a little bit different because I, you know, wasn't waiting for the whole run-up and everything. It was just kind of on me already. Alright, over halfway to the next level. Probably gonna grab some badge points again, just because I had to spend so much to get our power-up badge equipped. Oh, man. What's with these guys catching me off guard? Alright, um... I'd like to put them to sleep, but I don't have the focus for it yet. Let's go ahead and do this. See, this is when it's starting to get dangerous, is when we've got so many of them to take care of. Like, and I can only take them out so fast. Uh, especially... If I'm running into those sorts of problems. And not getting my timing right. Yeah. Alright. We'll take out this last one, or last couple, and then I'll try to do a refresh next round, hopefully. We'll see. In fact, I might put in the sleep and then I might spend around focusing. Ah, no, that'll take too much time. They have given us a couple of super mushrooms. No reason why I can't use one of those. Actually, I think our inventory might be getting close to full. It might be better for me to use it now than to just have to throw it away later on. Let's see. Where are we at? We're like... 12 dem or hit points down. 4 flower points down. Oh, no. A couple back. So, yeah. So, we're 10 down and 4 down. Let's have a look. So, super is heal 10. What does our fry do is heal 6 and 2. Let's go ahead and do that. Can I not use it from my inventory? Do I have to open it from here? Alright, that's a nice top-up. Not to full, but certainly a lot better. I also like how he doesn't think to start chasing me again until he gets back to his starting point. Yeah. It's a very forgiving stealth system, I've got to say. Alright. Back and forth and back and forth. So that's west first floor done, and east first floor done, and east second floor done. Now west second floor. Ooh. I saw he was standing in front of it, something interesting there. You know, Power Jump really isn't doing much for me right now. I might switch over to Deep Focus. Because I have been focusing a lot more than I've been jumping on people. You know, mostly because everyone in here is immune to being jumped on. I'm assuming. I haven't actually tried it, but, you know, I kind of don't want to risk it. Oh, speaking of jumping, Gumbario, what have you to say about this place? 
And let's get that badge set up, like I was saying. So power jump off. Still not doing much for us. Deep focus on. You know, even the huge cracks in the walls don't bother me that much. The spider webs? Come on, a little house cleaning people. Alright. Gambario, a man with taste. And standards. And he does point out the huge cracks. Alright. This is above that room with the spring, isn't it? So I think this will have the spring under it, which will let us get back up here. Yeah. And then we can do this one to get onto the table. And then we can parry carry across and get that badge. A D-down jump badge. Disables the enemy's defense power and causes some damage. Alright. Anything else here? Ever since that, like, hidden thing in the, uh, the last dungeon, the Slogo badge, it's made me more paranoid about this sort of thing. Let's go ahead and crack this one just for completion's sake. Yeah, that would be annoying. If you'd done that one first, or the one on the right first, you would have had to go all the way back around, which would have been annoying. Oh. Didn't it get... Let's see, is he just going to say the same thing as we said last time? For the lower floor? You think Double Blubba likes this castle? If he did, you think he could spend a little time fixing it up? I mean, an occasional cleaning. What a waste. Man, just just ragging on old Tubba Blubba. Tell him how it is. But I'm actually okay with using me. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and do a lullaby. Let's see, can we get four for four this time? Or are we going to have an incomplete go of it? No, yeah, they're, they're just super easy to put to sleep. Or I'm just getting really lucky. Alright, I guess we're just, yeah. Hammering away. Take him out one by one. In fact, because I'm not using much FP, I could just do this and then a uh, Quake Hammer would kind of finish the job. All right, let's go ahead and just for fun, you set him up, and then Mario can knock him down. Actually, may as well focus. I still got a turn of them being asleep. Quake. There we go. I like how they don't wake up when you hit them. Very deep sleepers. Alright. Well. We've made a lot of progress today, getting through Tubba Blubba's castle. Uh, probably not too much further to go, we'll see. Maybe one more floor up. But uh, we'll come back and see if we can actually meet, meet the man, the myth, the legend himself, the invincible Tubba Blubba. But that'll happen tomorrow. So, until then, bye.